Hello everyone. Today I am excited to share my FPJ project on image processing using the Basis 3 board. In this project, I have implemented 15 different image processing modes like grayscale, edge detection, and blurring, etc. This will be displayed on the monitor via VGA connector P1 pin. We will go over the project overview, the Basis 3 board setup, and the code, and then a live demonstration of the results. Let's get started. Let's start with an overview of the project. The goal was to perform image processing on an FPGA, specifically the Basis 3 board using Vivado. We process an image of the flower in 15 different modes, such as grayscale, brightness adjustments, and edge detection, and also various blurs. These modes are controlled by switches on the board, and the processed image is displayed on the monitor connected via VGA connector P1. Here is a table of the modes for example, switching 0000 converts the image to grayscale and switching 0001 increases brightness and so on 1111 applies Gaussian blur. To achieve this, we wrote Verilog code, generated block memory for the image and used Vivado to synthesize and implement the design on the basis 3 board. Let's talk about the Basis 3 board and the components we used. This is the Basis 3 board, a beginner friendly FPGA board. For this project, we used 100 MHz clock to drive our design and switches to control the image processing modes and brightness and the VGA connector P1 output to the P1 to output the processed image to the monitor. And the switches are mapped as follows. A switch 0 is for uh, reset and switch 1, 2, 3, 4 to control the mode selection and the VJ connector uses 4 bit color depth for red, green and blue along with horizontal and vertical sync signal to display the image and these are, these are the setup for our project we used FPGA board and a monitor to show the output dive into the code and implementation we have two main parts to cover the Verilog code vga underscore sync index dot v which handles the image processing and vga output and the constraints file basis 3 dot xdc which maps our signals to the basis 3 board pins the core of our project is vga underscore sync index dot v it takes a 100 megahertz clock a reset signal and a 4-bit select module input for mode selection and an 8-bit value input for brightness adjustments. It outputs a the VGA signals H-Sync, V-Sync and 4-bit red, green and blue values. First, the module divides 100 MHz clock to 25 MHz which is the pixel clock for the 614 to 480 VGA display at 60, 60 Hz. It uses horizontal and vertical counters to generate the H-Sync and V-Sync signals, ensuring the image is displayed correctly. The image data is stored in block memory set up as ROM with a depth of 18400 and a 96-bit width. Each memory location holds a pixel's RGB values and the grayscale values of 3 into 3 neighborhood. Loaded from the flar.coe file, the address increments as we scan the display. Main logic applies one of 15 image processing modes based on the select module input. Let's look at few examples. For grayscale mode 0000, we average the RGB values using a weighted formula and assign the result to all three channels, creating a monochrome image. For increasing brightness mode, I'll show you. Mode 0, 0, 0, 1, we add a value input to each RGB component, clamping at 255 to avoid overflow, then scale down to 4 bits for VJ output. For Sobel edge detection mode, mode 1001, 0, 0, 1, we use the 3 into 3 neighborhood to compute horizontal and vertical grad gradients then combine them to highlight edges in the image. 
the image is displayed in 160 into 115 pixel window and the RGB values are scaled down to 4 bits to match the basis 3 VGA port's color depth. So we have the constraints file basis3.xdc which maps our Verilog signals to basis3 board. The 100 MHz clock is mapped to pin W5 with a 10 nanoseconds period matching the board's oscillator. Switches are mapped as follows, switch 0 on pin V17 for reset, switch 1 to switch 4 on pins V16 to W15 for select module, and switch 5 to switch 12 on pins V15 to W2 for value, allowing us to control the modes and the brightness. These are the VGA signals that are mapped to the connector P1. H-Sync and V-Sync go to the pins P19 and R19 and the 4-bit red, green and blue signals go to the pins G19 through J18, driving the monitor output. See how everything works together. The basis 3 board's 100 MHz clock on pin W5 is divided to 25 MHz for VGA timing. The VGA underscore sync index module reads pixel data from block memory which is preloaded with the flower image via the flower.coe file. The switches on pins V16 to W15 select the processing mode like grayscale or edge detection. The processed image is then output to the VGA connector pin P1 on pins G19 to J18 displaying a 160 into 115 pixel window on the monitor. The table shows the modules 0000 for grayscale and uh, so on 1111 for Gaussian blur. Now let's start our demo. We'll start with the grayscale image for the input 0000 and then we'll go one by one. We'll get uh, increased brightness image and then decreased brightness image and then color inversion and then original image. This is the original image and then average blurring and then Sobel edge detection. This is the Sobel edge detection and then we'll get the edge detection. This is the edge detection. And then 1011 motion blurring in XY. And for 1000, we will get emboss. And then 1101, we will get sharpen image. After that, 1110 motion blur in X direction. And at last, 1111, we will get Gaussian blur image. This is the demonstration of our project image processing.